December the 14th, 2023. Guys, we've had a powerful X flare, the most powerful of the entire solar cycle 25, one of the most powerful in several years. It was an X 2.8, just under an X 3. You can see it here in this diagram, the classic X flare right there. That's how it gets its name. Notice the X line in this chart is right there, moves across here. So we almost bumped an X3, guys. That's a very powerful flare. That's the type of flare that knocked out Fukushima. We were watching these come back to back. Now, we're fortunate that this flare was not more to the center of the sun because this satellite, the SDO, gives us an Earth-facing perspective. We're still going to get hit by the CME, but it's going to give us a side hit from our right side or the eastern limb. Guys, and what has happened is this actual sunspot area here has red and blue images. In other words, you have a negative and a positive very close together. When you get that, if they arc together, just like arcing a battery in your car, you're going to get that spark, and that's what we saw. It says a nice transitional line between positive and negative polarity is present, hence the potential for strong solar flares. This region will likely remain a threat for another major event during the next 24 hours and that's exactly what happened and it may not be through actually it threw out two different cmes back to back now let's check this out on the 11th guys we have a sun diving comet actually coming to the sun you're going to see the reaction it's in the electric universe right there but this side is where we saw the x2 flare watch it coming up right here and that actually was followed by second cme again here comes our comet. Check that out. Man, that's cool. Now, some of the comets that we've seen coming to the sun are very small. That was one of the larger ones that we've ever seen directly impacted. But every time we see this, guys, we see the CMEs. The sun was already active. We had a very uh, large sunspot, but check that out. That's amazing to me to see these images like that. And that comet... Even though uh, the glow was very large, it appeared larger than our planet. It would take 109 of our planet, Earth, if you put them across this circle, which represents the sun, to uh, match the uh, scale. Think about that. There's the reaction to the comet. One CME here, that, that's the first one. Here's the second one, more powerful. That's the X.28. Guys, and on Space Weather, they have an actual movie of this. It says, uh, updated, the strongest flare of the current solar cycle. Sunspot 3514 erupted on December 14th, 1702 UT, producing a strong X2.8 class solar flare. This is the strongest flare of solar cycle 25 so far, and the most powerful eruption the sun has produced since the great storms of September 2017th. Again, SDO images of the ultraviolet uh, flash. Radiation from the flares caused a deep shortwave radio blackout over the Americas. Ham radio operators may have noticed a loss of signal at all frequencies below 30 megahertz for more than 30 minutes after the flare. This explosion probably launched a fast-moving coronal mass ejection called a CME. Soon after the blast, the U.S. Air Force has reported a Type 2 solar radio a solar radio burst which typically comes from the leading edge of the cme based on the drift rate of the radio burst the cme's velocity could exceed 2100 kilometers per second guys that's 4.7 million miles per hour and we're going to take a lick from this thing now this is from a very old satellite called stereo a that we see and we used to watch stereo b quite a bit but they've been battered over the years by so many solar storms that it's getting very granular you can see this here but it says we are still awaiting a higher quality data from soho to firm up the, the details and that's what i showed you in the beginning that explosion was the new information from soho now this is the current cme model i'm not sure if it's going to change tomorrow if they get more updates or not but we're showing a double impact here on the earth in the green line, you're showing plasma density here. This is Stereo A, Stereo B, these two satellites op, uh, on both sides of the Earth. And then the radio velocity, 
we're looking at uh, maybe 1.5 million miles per hour as it reaches the earth but remember it launched much faster than that and i'm thinking they may change the scale but still over a million miles per hour let's play it forward again see the initial cme here then another one follows it now if we stop this guys right there we're on the 15th just after midnight at 0400 hours that's going to be about 11 o'clock tonight on the east coast 15th 0400 hours they are ahead of us about five hours so 11 o'clock tonight the speed of that first cme may hit us check this out and it is now 8 25 p.m central as i'm doing the video then as we move this forward this plays out bam on the 16th at 0200 hours just after midnight utc time this would be about 9 p.m on the 16th when we get the second jolt right there let's let it play through and i'll let it go all the way across comes back down but guys this is the strongest solar flare of this solar cycle and in many years to be quite honest with you so these impacts could be very strong this one's going to hit us kind of on the right side or the bottom side this is going to center us the second one right there just a little higher guys and this is the sunspot area right here again red and blue means you have absolute uh, polarities and it's very dangerous 35 35 15 35 16 seem to be if they don't grow kind of passive but 35 19 you're already getting the blue and red again it's positive and negative when they get close together we get that arc and we get these solar flares guys we're watching this in the morning we may have some updates that are newer as far as the cme arrival and the uh, amount of energy that was produced but we're watching it right now you watch it it's a heads up be safe